So, Mads, first of all, how are you? Obviously, we're in a bit of a, a lockdown at the moment. Are you keeping yourself busy as best you can? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty hard, to be fair. Um, you know, there's so much time now that the training ground is closed as well and all that. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going around, you know, having a, having a run every day, going to the park. I've been in Richmond a few times, to be fair, uh, going around Richmond Park and yeah, going down to the city afterwards. Uh, yeah, doing some gym work back home and all that, and that's that's the day for me, to be fair. Well, obviously, you've been you've been coming back from injury uh, in recent months. Can you explain how that injury first occurred and what the the diagnosis was? Yeah, so uh, it was actually the first training uh, in the the summer preseason, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I slipped. It was really wet that day. So I slipped and um, and unfortunately popped my, my kneecap. And um, yeah, at first I, I trained on the full training. Uh, but afterwards, uh, my knee was so swollen and was so big afterwards. Um, so I first got um, the diagnosis the, the next day when I had the scan. And um, because I've did it, I've done it two times before. Um, we agreed... Uh, me and the physios and the medical staff that it was best for me to to go through a surgery and um, so yeah went through a surgery two weeks after that and then had been out for like four months now i think something like that yeah so yeah it's been a tough one but yeah slowly getting back in there and what's the kind of road to recovery look like in terms of how have you slowly been been building your fitness you kind of i guess it's a lot of gym work and then into running and things Exactly. So, like, it's it's a really long process. To be fair, uh, so after you have the surgery done, there goes. Let's see. I think there goes like a month or something that way. You can't really do a lot of stuff. So, I came in two days after surgery and already began to like, you know, getting some flexibility in the knee. That's pretty much the first thing you need to do, uh, and you know, putting some strength back in there. So, like, obviously, you can't do any weights start off with but that's really the, the most important part um starting to feel you know confident about the knee again it's it's pretty tough to feel confident after you have a surgery and all that so that's really important to get you know the the hit in the game as well so yeah after you know some 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 flexibility and strength where you start getting on maybe uh, the bike for example um then you start you know processing to um we have this also g machine is called where it's like you run with you know some gravity and you can run a bit easier on that one and then you process to, to running on the pitch um, and I've been on the pitch for like two months or something like that before I could go back into team training so that's a you know a really long pitch uh, based like time of the recovery where you can't really train with the team and that's really frustrating and all that because you feel like you're ready to go out there again and all that but you're just not ready for that you know body contact and all that so uh but yeah finally i'm out back there again and uh yeah it's been a long one though and what's the current situation in terms of what you're up to at the moment and kind of have you got an idea as to, to how long it'll be before you can be back playing yeah so i should have been out you know this week i should have been out um training uh full sessions with the team so body contact you know small side games all that and and the plan was to be um back playing or back available for games in uh, the end of January, start of February. So that's where I'm, I'm standing at the moment. Obviously, when you come to a new club, it's really, really exciting. How frustrating was it to pick up an injury of that of that sort as well? It was uh, it was really, really frustrating. I was uh, I had some really rough weeks after the the injury, especially because I've been uh, struggling a lot with injuries the same injury uh, beforehand and I, I finally felt like I was in a good spot and I was in a good place and um, yeah, I actually got an all right start here, but it was really frustrating. Uh, but that's that's where it's so important that, um, you know, people, you know, physio staff, medical staff, uh, coaches, uh, you know, teammates, it's so important that you have some some great people. And uh, yeah, I've been really lucky that I've had so many great people around me, so, yeah. I suppose it, it tests your mental strength as well, doesn't it, really? Yeah, it really did, yeah. So, couldn't really uh, couldn't really talk to anybody for, like, five days or something like that. So, uh, yeah, you know, the first phone call with my family was, 
was pretty rough, but you know, it's so important that you talk about, you know, the things that that happens to you and all that. So yeah, it was uh, it was tough, but yeah, it, 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 I'm I'm feeling like I'm getting stronger, and I felt like I've come a bit out on the other side. So yeah. And actually, in, in terms of your, yourself, although you've not exactly been getting minutes on the pitch, you seem to have settled well within the group. Is, is that fair? You seem like a, a good character within that group. Yeah, you know, it's so easy in this group because, you know, all the mates are just amazing, to be fair. So uh, it's been it's been so easy to, like, go into the group and just, you know, it's just about being yourself and all that. So it's just an amazing group, to be fair. And how the, the medical team, you mentioned that the, the staff, the, the medical team, Neil, Sorns, everyone, have they all been really helpful in kind of getting you through it? 100%, 100%. So, yeah, I've, I've had some bad experiences with, you know, medical staff before and, and uh, it's just been a pleasure to work with, the, yeah, with the, the medical staff here. So, yeah, big thanks to, to Liam and, and all the guys in there. Obviously, you've had a good staff alongside you as well, just in terms of coming back from injury. Have you kind of lent on each other in, in terms of support? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's it's really important that you have some guys that you can go around and, you know, joke around with and all that while you're injured. And, uh, you know, Gustav have been a big part of that. So it's been great to have a, a partner in crime in the, in the gym and all that. So You've had a chance to kind of look and kind of get to know your teammates. In terms of what you've seen on the picture of the boys, are you impressed? Yeah, really. Like uh, the B team has been doing amazing this year, and uh, you know, you see that as well. And you know, I think we got how many debuts have we got now? I think we got like four, something like that, right? Oh yeah, yeah, four. That's crazy. So yeah, it's really great to see the boys getting out there, play, getting some first team minutes as well. So it's just amazing. I bet you can't wait to get amongst it now, can you? Uh, I'm looking so much forward to it. So yeah, I can't wait now. Can't wait.